hi friend how are you if you not subscribe my channel press the bell icon and subscribe my channel for more information related to electrical engineering or related to substation power plant transmissions line distributions line etc today our discussing topic is about colorful balls on transmissions line why these colorful balls has been used what is the main reason for installation and what is the functions of lighting aerial marker ball what is the advantage what is the disadvantage we discuss today so aerial marker ball it also called the visibility marker ball the visibility means visible if you are uh, doing this installation for visibilities because in the transmissions line and the communications line the line of transmission and communications are being installed on several heights so if this installed in the several height so visibility for the aircraft and helicopters are very much essential for the safety of this local area and safety of the property or infrastructures also so aerial marker ball and visibility ball are used in hilly area transmissions line long span transmissions line and near the runway runway means where the airport is uh, present uh, near the airport area these steps of if, if the transmissions line is just passing through the airport near the runway so we have to use the aerial ball or lighting aerial ball for the visibility of the air cap so main point of installations of this marker ball is the safety so you have to remember that the safety is the main criteria and main objectives so why used used for helicopters airplane that in uh, save life and infrastructures by um, marking or by uh, installing these balls on the transmissions and the communications line visible why different color the different color aerial ball or lighting aerial ball has been installed or is being installed nowadays for different reasons red color orange color yellow color and white color so if someone asks you what is aerial aerial marker balls the simple answer is the color plastic ball hanging on the overhead wire are called the aerial marker balls with the help of its electric transmissions line are easily visible to the aircraft and helicopters flying at the low altitudes so what is the features of uh, this aerial ball the weight of the aerial ball is 5 to 8 kg the hard plastic made of hard plastic and withstand the high temperatures diameters of this ball is 36 inch it's uh, if in river or in uh, lake they are installed aerial ball diameter may be the 20 inch so from 20 to 36 inch the diameters aerial ball plastic hard plastics balls is being used or are being used for the installations generally uh, orange color ball marker ball is used more than the other color that is already been discussed when there are less than four marker balls on the given wire we use the orange color ball when there are more than more number of marker ball we use the red color yellow color and white color now the question is how 
they get installed on such height and difficult locations because we have already discussed that these balls is being used uh, in the hilly area in the valley area and uh, on the rivers crossing on the runway crossings etc so that is the very difficult or uh, very dangerous locations so these height and difficult locations you have to install these types of ball how you install this ball this is uh, very much interesting questions are you thinking about the cranes or lifts no crane and lifts cannot do it because on that such height crane cannot be reached and lift infrastructure cannot be built so the balls are not used on every transmission line they are used on the location where the helicopters and aircraft tends to fly at low altitude like river runways valleys and cranes cannot reach everywhere because the situations on the landscape you cannot use the crane in the hilly area you cannot use the crane and you cannot build or infrastructures cannot be implemented uh, to build and lift for the purpose of installations so you have to use helicopters and the skilled persons to install these types of balls on the transmission line very high skill person is required for the installations we discussed about the aerial ball this aerial ball is easily visible in the daytime in the sunlight in the daytime but in the night that cannot be visible by the aircraft so there may be dangers there may be accident uh, will be happened uh, without the clear visibilities so for solving these types of a disadvantage of the aerial ball we have to use a lightning aerial marker ball it is called the belisher this belisher uh, is being used inside the aerial ball or it is individually installed in the transmission line for better visibility on the night time when the aircraft aeroplane or helicopters are moving from one place to another place on the low altitudes so belisher is a systems of illuminated beacons for high voltage power line using a cold cathode low pressure neon lamp that is as an aircraft warning light which grow in red in color red the you, you everybody know that that the uh, lambda the wavelength of the red color is very high wavelength so everybody can uh, see the red color uh, faster so red color is being used for this belisher's light purpose this is a neon light discharge lamp so what is the operating principle of the belisher's each high voltage conductors has electric field around itself this advantage is being used for belisher's to glow on the power line a conductors of few meters is placed parallel to the single power line along with the cold cathode low pressure neon lamp and then this lamp will be glow when the electric field is passing through this this electric field will be helpful or will be used for as as a capacitive effect that will just glow this low pressure neon lamp as there is an electric field around the power line conductors where so it is it will generate some potential and this potential difference what what will be the potential difference that that may be very uh, depend on the Mm, magnitudes magnitudes of the voltage what uh, which types of voltage are you transmitting from one place to the another place so this potential difference is sufficient to triggering the discharge lamp so what is the disadvantage first we have to think about the disadvantages so what is disadvantages of during if you switch off the transmission line this visibility or this light will be not visible because the inductions or electric field will not be present so this lamp cannot be glow 
this is the most uh, important disadvantages of this line so you have to remember that during the night time uh, this transmission line should be switched on no type of switch off or shutdowns will be allowed because if allowed in this runway area or airport area accident may be happened so obviously think about it because this uh, line shutdowns has been controlled by the load disperse center so the load disperse center will not be permitted this types of shutdown during the night time so the daytime these types of transmissions line will be off for the maintenance purpose so um, these pictures i have drawn a pictures uh, where i discussed about how the belisers are connected with the power transmissions line this is the conductors and this is the insulators are being hanging on the line and this hanging line a conductors in parallel with the power line has been fitted and with these conductors these belisers are fitted and hanging from the insulators if this electric field will be there this light will be glow you cannot uh, it is not visible in the day times it will be visible at the uh, from the evening to uh, during the nights so that will be very much important for the aircraft so what is the advantages the advantage is the reliable and the robust beacons are being used very economical very economical you can not install a solar panel you cannot install any types of complex uh, arrangements you have to just put it and that will be glow and that will visible and the safety will be there so i draw a transmissions line where this is a tower these insulators are just hanging these the conductors are just connecting from this insulator to this insulator this is the communication opgw and from opgw by help of a clamp this aerial ball is hanging as like as this this and it may be connected as like as this the two wires are just out from these balls and the half half balls will be connected by this uh, nut bolt and screw systems and the conductor in between flow and this uh, will be just connected um, uh, with this uh, in as as per the spiral and these balls will be fitted to the line that installed by the helicopters or the skill man powers so this transmissions line with conductor attached with the aerial uh, marker ball so friend today discussing topic is very important it is bring it it will be asked in any interview questions and bring an electrical technicians bring an electrical persons or engineers you have to know about what is the aerial ball and how these balls has been installed and what is the main uh, advantages of this aerial ball so friend if you interested please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updated technical video thank you very much for watching my video thank you very much